Okay, bye bye. Set math question. Okay, let's go the information. The solutions to x square positive six x positive seven equals to zero are r and s, where r is less than s. The solutions to x square positive eight x positive eight equals to zero are r, r t and u, where t is less than u. The solutions to x square positive fourteen x positive c equals to zero, where c is a constant, are r plus r positive t and r s positive u. What is the value of r c? Okay, we have our two quadratic equations. One is x square positive six x positive seven equals to zero. So for this quadratic equations, uh, the two solutions are given R and S. And here R is uh, less than S. The same thing we have about the second quadratic equation also. Like uh, what we have to do is using uh, all these information. So we have to find the value of C in the third quadratic equation for which R plus T and S plus U are the two solutions. Okay, so our first uh, work is to get the values of the uh, solutions of the first quadratic equation and the second quadratic equation as well. I mean, uh, I want to get the value of this R and S and also this T and U. So for that, I have to solve the first quadratic equation over here. Okay, now let me write the first quadratic equation over here. That is x square positive six x positive seven equals to zero. Okay, this quadratic equation cannot be solved by factoring. So I think we have to use quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So for that, uh, we have to write the values of A, B, and C. So the value of a is the coefficient of x square. Uh, that is one in this case. That is a equals to one, and the value of b is the coefficient of uh, x. That is six, and the value of c is a constant term. That is seven in this case. Okay, now let me write the quadratic formula, which is x equals to negative b positive or negative uh, square root of uh, b square negative four ac over two uh, a. Okay, now x equals to negative. So the value of uh, b is uh, six over here. So we can plug in six for b. Positive or negative, and for b square we have to write six square negative four times the value of a is one, and the value of c is seven over two uh, a. Let me write over here. There is two times the value of a is one, and x equals to negative six positive or negative square root of thirty uh, six negative. When I multiply four one and seven, I'm getting twenty eight over uh, in denominator two times one is two. Okay, let me continue over here. X equals to negative six uh, positive or negative square root of uh, 36 negative 28 is uh, just eight uh, over two and now x equals to negative six uh, positive or negative and uh, this eight can be written as two times uh, two times two inside the square root over two and x equals to negative six positive or negative so for every two same numbers multiplied inside the square root one number can be taken out of the square root so for these two two is uh, one two can be taken out so then I'm getting two times square root of two. Uh, over two and uh, x equals to I can factor two from these two terms. So when I factor two from these two terms inside the parenthesis, I'm getting negative three positive or negative uh, square root of two over two. So this two two will cancel out. Then I'm getting x equals to negative three positive or negative uh, square root of two. Okay, here in this one I have two solutions. I mean two values for x. So I have to write one solution with the positive sign over here and other solution with negative sign over here. Okay, now let me write the two solutions uh, separately. So the first solution I'm going to write with the negative sign over here. Then I'm getting negative three, negative square root of two. The second solution is negative three, positive uh, square root of two. Okay, now I got the two solutions of the first uh, quadratic equation over here. Uh, and the question says that the two solutions of the first quadratic equation are r and s, and also r has to be less than s. That is, in these two solutions, a smaller uh, value should be considered as r, and the bigger value has to be considered as s because r has to be less than s. Uh, it's clear that the first one, negative three, negative square root of two, is the smaller one. So we can consider this is the value of r. So we get r equals to negative three, negative square root of two, and s is the second one, that is negative three, positive square root of two. Okay, in the first quadratic equation, I got the values of uh, the two solutions r and s. Okay, now let me take the second uh, quadratic equation, that is uh, x square positive eight x positive eight equals to zero. Uh, I think this one also cannot be solved by factoring, so we have to use quadratic formula. So then the value of a is one, the coefficient of x square. The value of b is coefficient of uh, x, that is eight, and the value of c is constant, that is eight. So now we can uh, plug in the values of a, b, c in this quadratic formula and solve for x. So then I'm getting x equals to negative b. So that means uh, negative eight. Positive or negative b square means eight square negative four times the value of a is one and uh, c is eight and over uh, two times a that is two times one then I'm getting x equals to negative eight positive or negative square root of so eight square is sixty uh, four negative uh, four times one times eight is uh, thirty two over uh, two okay let me continue over here so x equals to negative eight positive or negative square root of so when I subtract thirty two from sixty four I'm getting uh, thirty two. Over two, so then I'm getting x equals to negative eight positive or negative 
and this uh, 32 inside the square root can be written as uh, 4 times 4 times 2 because 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So in order to simplify the square root of uh, 32, I'm writing this 32 uh, as a product of three numbers, 4 times 4 times 2 over 2. Then I'm getting x equals to negative 8, positive or negative. As I said earlier, for every two same numbers multiplied inside the square root, one number can be taken out of the square root. So then, uh, so for these two force, one four can be taken out of the square root. Inside the square root, we have two over two. Then I'm getting x equals to. Now I can factor two from these two terms over here in numerator. If I factor two inside the parenthesis, I'm getting negative four, positive or negative, two times square root of two over two. So this two, two will cancel out. Then I'm getting x equals to negative four, uh, positive or negative, two times square root of two. And here we have two solutions in this one. Now let us uh, split up the solution. Then I'm getting x equals to uh, negative four, negative two times square root of two, comma negative four, a uh, positive two times square root of two. Actually, the question says uh, for the second quadratic equation, uh, t and u are the solutions where t is less than u. That is, uh, in the two solutions of the second quadratic equation, the smaller solution has to be considered as t and the biggest solution to be considered as uh, u. So clearly in these two solutions, the first one is a smaller one. So it should be taken as a value for t. So that is uh, t equals to negative four, negative two times square root of two. And clearly the second one is a bigger solution. That's a value of uh, u, that is u equals to negative four, positive two times square root of two. Okay, now I got the two solutions for the first quadratic equation over here and uh, two solutions for the second quadratic equation over here. So that is uh, the two solutions for the first quadratic equation R and S uh, we have over here. And uh, two solutions for the second uh, quadratic equation, T and U. So we have over here. Okay, now we'll let me erase the stuff and uh, continue the process. Here uh, we have the values of R, S, uh, T and U, uh, which I got in my previous working. Okay, now let me consider the third quadratic e equation over here. That is uh, X square positive 14X uh, positive C equals to zero. So for this quadratic equation, uh, the solutions are uh, R positive T and uh, S positive U. So these are the two solutions for the third quadratic equation over here. Okay, now let me find the product of the two solutions we have over here. Okay, let me write the stuff over here. That is a product of uh, two solutions of the quadratic equation that is given over here, the third quadratic equation. So to get the product of two solutions of this quadratic equation, we just have to multiply the two solutions of have uh, in the question. That is uh, R positive T times uh, S positive U. Okay, here, uh, this quadratic equation, uh, the third quadratic equation is in standard form, that is ax square positive bx positive c equals to zero. So whenever we have a quadratic equation in standard form, and uh, if I want to get a product of two solutions, there is a formula. The formula to get a product of two solutions is uh, c over a. So equals to, and now on the right side, we have r positive t times s positive u, and now we can plug in the values for this r, t, s, and u. Okay, so for R, we have negative three, negative square root of two. So negative three, negative square root of two. And for T, we have uh, negative four, negative two times square root of two. Let me write over here, negative four, negative two times uh, square root of two. Okay, now inside the second parenthesis, we have S. Uh, for S, we have negative three, positive square root of two. And for U, we have uh, negative four, positive two times square root of two. Let me write. Okay, now uh, let's consider the stuff we have on the left side of the equation over here, that is C over here. Okay, comparing uh, the equation over here and ax square positive bx positive c equals to zero, so what's the value of c? So c is a constant term. So in our equation also we have the same c. So there's no change in numerator. So because at the place of c, again we have c. So we can write this c as it is. And what is the value of a? So a is the question of x square. What is the question of x square in our equation? It's just one. So for this a, we can plug in one equals to, and uh, now we can uh, simplify the expression over here. When I combine this negative three and negative four, I'm getting negative seven. When I combine this negative square root of two and negative two times square root of two, I'm getting negative three times uh, square root of two times, uh, when I combine this negative three and negative four, I'm getting negative seven. So when I combine this positive square root of two and positive two times square root of two, I'm getting positive uh, three times square root of two. Okay, now on the left side, uh, when I divide this C by one, I'm just getting C. On the right side, uh, when I look at the two binomials over here, so they are in the form of A negative B and uh, A positive B. At the place of A, we have negative seven. At the place of B, we have uh, three square root of two. So whenever I multiply two binomials in the form A negative B and A positive B, let me write the stuff over here. That is A negative B times A positive B 
equals to a square negative b square actually it's one of the important uh, and the basic identities in algebra so whenever we multiply two binomials in this form a negative b and a positive b uh, it uh, its result is equal to a square negative b square so now we have to write the same this is a square negative b square for the product of these two binomials at the place of a we have to plug in negative seven at the place of b we have to plug in uh three times square root of two okay let me do it so that is negative seven the whole square that is a square negative b square means uh, three times square root of two the whole square okay now let me continue the stuff over here that is c equals to so when i evaluate this negative seven square is 49 and uh, negative so here the we have a product of two numbers and uh, we have a common exponent whenever we have a common exponent for a product of two numbers the exponent can be distributed to each number and we have to multiply the result so that is uh, three square times uh, square root of two the whole square so then c equals to 49 negative so the value of 3 square is 9 and this uh, square and square root will cancel we just get to 9 times 2 then c equals to 49 uh, negative 18 so when i subtract 18 from 49 i am getting c equals to 31 okay i got the value of c so according to the question we have to find the value of c so the value of c is 31